Hey there. So a few times I've been asked some questions about how to properly update craft and and, and really there's some truth to how I do it um, in a sense that, you know, or in respects to how craft has something set up. And what I really mean is the control panel. So, um, you know, before I update any plugins, you know, I, I go and I make sure that there, there shouldn't be any um, failures to the update. So uh, what you can do, and it's really simple. However, the update process doesn't seem as intuitive as just going to the craft uh, update admin panel and just hitting update all or hitting the update on a on a specific plugin or craft itself. Now, I like to update it via Composer, and let me explain why. And I'll give you a couple examples where things have really not worked out, and and this is why I do it this way instead, uh, because I have that experience that you know some migration didn't happen and it actually crashed a system and it went to production. So, um, you know, I always have to make sure that the plugins are not going to cause a problem. So what we can do is inside of our site in the admin panel, um, go to utilities and then go to updates. So I, I believe actually this is available on the dashboard. Um, I'm pretty sure that it is. So if you just go to your dashboard, it may be updates, may be there, it may not be, but I'm pretty sure by default it is. So here you can see that I have craft CMS, that update needs to happen, and I also have redactor. So I, I think I only have like three plugins installed. So, you know, it's not necessarily gonna show everything. So let me just check real quick. Okay, so, so two plugins plus the CMS itself. So um, let's go back. So let's see here. So sometimes you can just hit update and it'll update uh, with no problems. However, most of the time I don't like to do that. In fact, I've stopped doing that. And what I do is I look through the plugin update itself, so the, the change log. I look through the change log and I identify things that are going to be breaking changes. Um, if there's a warning sign, um, you know, let's say, uh, okay, so this one updated ye to 2.0.47. Let's say if you're on ye one point whatever, you're probably going to run into some problems. So now I'm not saying that, you know, if you're on ye one point whatever, you're probably not on craft four, uh, maybe even craft three, I can't remember. So it's a good thing, read the change log, um, get familiar with with the change log and what some of the stuff means. Most of the time you'll just see they're fixing bugs, things like that. But if you see stuff like this um, added, you know, they, they actually added methods, you know, inside of these uh, classes right here, graph 3.4 and then how, how do you upgrade from 3.4 to 3.5? You know, there may be something significant that needs to happen. You might have to change your table structure. If you're developing plugins, you might have to change your code. So that's really important as well. So, you know, just be mindful of all, all that. So let's take a look at this one right here, 4.3.6. Oh, this is, this is great. So they added a helper. So now we can make a call to that little helper right there. Um, nice. So I don't see anything right off the bat. And this is great as well. Fixed a cross-site scripting vulnerability. Anyway, I, I don't see anything that is absolutely troubling. So um, hitting update should be okay. But what I like to do, and do it any way you want. So let's say I have version 4.2.7. Well, I need to update to you know, something higher, right? First, I take that little guy away, a little carrot, and I'm gonna say 4.3.4. So that's my first, you know, 
action steps that I'm taking. And then usually just deleting your composer file. Let's delete that. I'm just going to move it to trash. Let me open up the integrated terminal. Do all this all in VS Code here. All of it's in VS Code. All right, so let's go ahead. All right, I'm in the right directory. Now just run your composer install, and it will update. So you'll see it right down in here. Downloading, you'll see where it says downloading the newer version of Craft. Somewhere, I guess I didn't see it. Well, it's there. You'll, you'll see it. It'll get updated, and, and also when we refresh on the control panel, it'll show um, only these updates are ready. So. And honestly, that's all there really is to it. So now the system is updated, and what happened is we get this Yi Framework version update message, and it you know, just to walk you through it, here's some of the changes. Um, they're basically just saying, you know, inside your application, if you can change your configuration to this. Um, now, it depends on your system. Your system may be okay, uh, but, you know, keep this in mind whenever you run into problems that, uh, you know, these message, messages really mean a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's refresh this page. So it refreshed, checking for updates, and there we go. We we just went ahead and, and updated our, our craft system. Um, so let's do a plugin now. So you you know, like I said, this is completely up to you. You can hit update, uh, the update button right here, or you can just change it to the version that uh, you want. So for the redactor, just change it to 0.3, save it, check this out. So this is what I've seen. I'm gonna run composer update. Let's see what happens. So it is going, uh, the optimized auto load files, usually that takes a, a while to, to do. So it's also really important whenever you do this to always make sure that you are updating on local. And if you have a deployment you know, method set up, you basically, this little lock file right here. So this lock file, the composer.lock file, um, you know, you run Composer, if you're running on NPM or Yarn or, or whatnot, it, it looks for that lock file. And what that lock file does is it already has the configuration of all the paths that it needs to take in order to install stuff. So that's why it's really important that you transfer that lock file with your application. So you don't want to run npm install or composer install, which by the way, for, for craft, it's you're, we're gonna be using composer, it's PHP application. Uh, for npm, that's JavaScript and Node and all that stuff, right? So with craft, we're using composer and you really just wanna make sure you have everything tightened up on local and then deploy that stuff out to either staging or production, um, more than likely like a development environment first and then staging and then finally production. What I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna say I, I, I'm gonna hope that something goes awry with this craft update, because I'm gonna click the button and hopefully something happens so I can show you how to fix it. But if nothing bad happens, then that's really good too. That means I don't have to fix it. All right, all done. If you do have something bad happen during an update like this, uh, you'll see a part where it may say that you need to you know, it needs to do something with the database. I can't remember exactly what the message is, but when it says that, it, it usually needs to run migrations. So sometimes you might have to, if you like doing it manually, um, you'll there's really two steps, you know, run your composer install or composer update and then run craft. Uh, sometimes you might have to put PHP in front of it, but so you can just run PHP craft and usually to update a plugin, you would say update and then the plugin name and then maybe a version number, a colon version number. Um, in this case, I'm gonna run migrations and that is, you do migrate, I think. So, you know, right here, there's no migration. So you see that little database, you know, update, you know, the database needs to be um, updated. That's usually what that is, is they're running migrations. 
So that's it for this video. Uh, if you guys have questions, I'm going to put the craft documentation in the video and see you on the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to stay up to date on various web development topics, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. See you on the next one.